now to Detroit police and the mayor taking action against illegal block parties after a violent holiday weekend in Detroit. Yeah, Detroit police say that shootings at six illegal block parties over the weekend left three people dead and 24 others injured. This is security video of the largest block party in the area of Reno Street and Rossini Drive, where two people were killed, 19 others were injured early Sunday morning. Hate to see it. Well, Detroit police showing the weapons that they recovered from that party. Three rifles, five guns, and one switch that can turn firearms into automatic guns. Detroit Police Chief James White says the department will deploy a new neighborhood response team consisting of 80 officers to help shut down illegal parties. There will be at least one police car in each precinct that will be driving around looking for illegal activities. And DPD will now treat illegal block parties as priority one calls. We sent 7 News Detroit reporter Faraz Javid to the site of that large block party. He's talking with neighbors who were shook up after the gunfire and are now raising concerns with the city. Right here on Rossini Drive and Reno this past Saturday night, around 300 young people were enjoying a block party at one of the houses here. But by 2.20 a.m., things took turn for the worse. This ring camera footage shows people running for their lives as gunshots rock the neighborhood. Police say around 100 shots were fired, resulting in 21 people being shot, including two fatalities. We're a very close-knit block and community. And to see something like that with so many children fleeing for their lives was so unimaginably sad. This area resident, who didn't want to go on camera due to the fear of retaliation, says she hasn't been able to sleep since that violent night. Where were you when the shooting began? I was asleep in my bed and I was awakened by the violence, by the shooting. And I hit the floor. Another neighbor, Dondre Knight, couldn't believe what he was seeing. Everyone running every which direction, um, crying over the, the girl in the street, her friends, uh, just trying to pick her up, see if she's conscious. Uh, certain people were shot. I was seeing them being carried and lifted away. It was just madness. Two people died that night, a 20-year-old female and a 21-year-old male. I spoke to the 21-year-old's dad over the phone. He didn't want to go on camera, but said their life was shattered beyond words. That night will always haunt you, wouldn't it? for the rest of my life. No arrests have been made yet, but the community is raising another concern as the investigation continues. We called the police multiple times, and I know for a fact calling them five times, I was placed on hold. This police radio recording shows why the response was delayed. Waiting for us, we should be there in about 10 minutes. I would say 20 officers on the scene. So 40 against 300, I think we're probably gonna need those officers stand by and wait for us. But for Dondre, it's not good enough. Sharing this phone call record, Dondre says he called the police at least an hour earlier, warning them that something might go down. It went from en route to, to attitude to just them not showing up until it was too late. But then when the shooting started, you called the police again. What happened? It was so bad. I came out to the, the street when they finally got here and I was a little, you know, I was a little argumentative with them because I was just expressing my frustration. It took you guys so long to get here. And then all they could say was we just had multiple shootings and there was lack of patrol. Addressing part of that, Detroit Police Chief James White today announced that block party calls will be moved from priority three to priority one, ensuring a quicker response. In addition to that, that on the weekends, uh, those dedicated units will directly get those calls to immediately handle those runs. Now the police needs the community's help. If you know any information about the mass shooting right here in Rossini Drive, you're urged to call 1-800-SPEAK-UP. On the east side, I'm Faraz Javid, 7 News Detroit. All right, thank you much, Faraz. Now you can read more about the violent block parties and the plan from Detroit police to get them under control right now on our website, WXYZ.com.